This week we're keeping it all in the family. Boom! <laughs> Flirt. Hey guys, welcome to Flirt. My name is Aaron Nays. You can find me on Twitter at AKNazer. We're doing all week long, we're doing Family Week. We've got four winners who entered our Family Week contest. Last week, each of those winners is going to win a Flern Pro, and the number one most voted person, this was a big Facebook contest, and I hope you guys entered, um, is Sammy, and he actually wins a Wacom tablet as well. So Sammy, congratulations for everyone else who won. Congratulations as well. Those people are, I got it right over here, so I'd, I want to get everyone's name perfect because it's important. Catherine won as well as, this is a hard one for me, but Nananu, Nananu. I'm going to write them because that'll be better. <laughs> Sammy and we'll see if you guys all were the top four places and uh, again Sammy wins the wins the uh, tablet so congratulations and we're editing that image today in Photoshop so let's get into it all the images uh, they won the contest so they're all really good um, but I was just thinking that uh, we could go and make them a little bit better or just do do some things that I would do to the images themselves so that's what we're gonna do today and for the rest of the week okay so we have this image and this is Sammy's image and uh, it is really cool it's a, a highway here um, a sky and this looks like the Milky Way and I have no idea um, if this is in camera uh, I would probably have photoshopped this in there because I don't even know how to capture that I, d I don't know I've never been able to get anything that looks like that so I'd probably just photoshop it in but uh, I'm not saying Sammy did Sammy's just probably awesome and you don't need to do that stuff so um, what we're gonna do I think there's a little bit of detail and things like that that we can recover from this image so that's my job I'm gonna I'm gonna be that guy who recovers some detail and enhances things a little bit better um, some of the areas where we can get are these trees so I'm gonna create a new layer we're gonna grab a curves adjustment layer and uh, I'm just gonna pull my dark area here and start pulling it up and this is basically just letting me see what kind of information we got in our image uh, and as I pull it up you can see we do have some uh, color and light information in the trees which is great uh, because now I can use that information in the photo itself um, I don't want to go too far up there because you can see it starts like turning things wide and making things look horrible blowing all the details out so we're gonna bring that up to about uh, right about there okay now the key here is gonna be using a layer mask to kinda get this uh, looking natural and how we want it so I'm gonna click on my layer mask I'm gonna hit command I that's gonna make the layer mask black and then I'm gonna paint with white uh, with a regular brush here and just kind of play around and paint. Now I'm using Flow because I like Flow. I like the progressive lady who's named Flow, but in Photoshop I like Flow too. Um, because you can just kind of go over an area and keep painting over and over again. It's just gonna make the area more and more visible. Um, and so I don't have to like lift it up and you know, keep on messing around with it over and over again. So now I'm just gonna paint with black for a little bit. I hit X on my keyboard and that switches black and uh, we can just kind of paint it away. I'm gonna paint it away from the tree line here because we don't want that glow. All right, we're talking about flow and glow today. It's a very good day. There we go. It is a good day. It's Monday. We just had uh, Labor Day. It was awesome. I was down in Texas visiting my nephew. He was a cutie pie, and uh, I hope you guys had an awesome Labor Day weekend too. All right, let's turn those off and on. There we go. This is uh, just really quick. You can see that uh, not a whole lot of time spent on there and we can reveal a lot more detail, which does help the photo out a bit. It just enhances what we've already got. Um, I'm gonna just do some work with colors and I think it's gonna be cool. We're gonna grab an adjustment layer. I'm gonna go to curves and uh, let's just grab a red and I'm gonna grab down there, pull up red and then let's go to blue and I'll pull down blue. So that's gonna put, like blue and yellow are opposite, so that's gonna put a little bit of yellow in my red. Okay, now we're, again, gonna hit Command I, and I'm just gonna paint this in, just there. I feel like Bob Ross sometimes when I'm doing this, to be honest, I'm like, some happy little red trees. There we go, and that's just gonna kinda enhance what we've already got there. It's not, you know, it's not crazy, it's just uh, enhancing what we've already got and making it look a little bit more interesting. All right, let's do the same thing with the rest of the sky. We're gonna go to curves. Um, oops, went to levels. Levels and curves will do about the same thing, but I'm in a curves mood. Uh, sometimes I like levels a little bit more, but uh, lately I've been favoring curves. Um, who knows, in a month from now, I'll think curves suck and I'll be on levels again. Uh, that's just how we all work, right? <sighs> maybe not, maybe just how I work. There we go, we'll just pump some curves in there and uh, now we're just gonna darken up the top. So you can see I'm doing all these separately. 
um, because I'm trying to bring out different amounts of color and light and things like that with each one of these curves layers. So um, you can you know try to do a bunch in the same curve adjustment layer. I'm doing them separate because I want like this one's controlling light and dark. This one's controlling the blue. This is controlling the red, and this is just making everything a little bit brighter. And um, there we go. That red I spilled over onto the trees. So that's why I'm doing them kind of uh, separately. Okay. The next thing I would probably do is uh, I want to enhance these glows, uh, you know, from the highway a little bit more because I think they're cool. So what I'm going to do is uh, let's go up to select and then go to color range, and I'm going to grab this. You know what? We're on this curves adjustment layer, so it's trying to select. Uh, from that layer mask. I don't want that. So we're going to make a new layer. Now we'll just go to select color range. There we go. And it's going to select the, the white there. All right. So we're going to hit OK. And uh, on this layer, I'm going to choose this color, which probably is white. And then I'm going to hit uh, option delete, which is going to fill that color, uh, fill the selection with that color on that layer. All right. Deselect. And then you can see I'll move this uh, to a new layer just so you can see like that's what it is. We just made that a selection and then filled it with the same color. Okay, so now that we have this, uh, I'm gonna put a glow on it and that's gonna create like a cool glow from this. I'm gonna try a couple glows. We're gonna go to filter, uh, blur, and then let's try, uh, you probably aren't expecting it, so I'm gonna do a motion blur, why not? Um, we'll do this straight up and down. We'll just do an angle of 90. Okay, and we'll do a little bit less of a blur. There we go. And you can see, kind of getting a cool effect from, you know, a motion blur, kind of going straight up and down. Um, and then we're going to just do a regular blur on this because I want to. There's no other reason. I'm just looking how uh, I'm, I'm getting a feel for it. There we go. Hit OK. And now we got a little bit of a blur. Now you can keep it looking like that if you want to. You could change this to something like uh, soft light, you know, soft light. And then let's hit Command J once. So it's like, you know, really gives that a, a glow. All right, we'll go ahead and group those together. Uh, put a layer mask on that group, and then uh, you know I'm gonna paint black away a little bit there so it's not as visible on the horizon. So we got a glow like that that looks pretty good. Um, we'll just do the same with red. Why not? Um, I want to, and that's uh, what we're gonna do. <laughs> I want to. What a great reason. Wow, you want to do that, really? Wow, okay. Um, let's just grab a nice red color. Might not even be the same red, but that's okay. All right, there we go. Let's just move this up and you can see I select that, uh, filled it with red. Okay, let's just gonna do, we're gonna change this to soft light again. And now let's just do a regular Gaussian blur. All right, we got another one. We're gonna have Command J again. It's like, whoa, there is a glow. And then, um, there we go. I'm gonna hit, let's see, Command L on that and we'll just make it a bit brighter. You can see I can make it darker or brighter and it's just gonna change that glow. Not a whole lot, but it is gonna change. All right, and then we'll shift click the two of those and hit Command G. So we got a bit of a glow going on there, which I think looks pretty nice. And then the last thing I wanna do, um, I, I wanna make some stars because I just, I think that will be fun and complete this image. So I'm gonna hit B for the brush tool um, let's just paint with white. Now I'm going to go to window and we're going to go to brush. Okay, I got a lot of stuff open here. Uh, but basically here in our brush menu, um, what we want to do is I'm going to go on to scattering here. I'm going to turn on scattering. Brush tip shape, I want to go to uh, my spacing. We'll turn our hardness on, you know, almost all the way hard. Um, make our brush quite a bit smaller. We want this to look like stars. Basically that's our end goal is for this down here to look like stars. Uh, shape dynamics, let's turn on size jitter, make some of them big, some of them small, minimum diameter down. Um, those really are not going to matter a whole lot. Scattering, you can turn your count up to make a lot of stars or your count down. Let's turn our spacing up, make individual uh, stars. And then we'll do transfer and uh, we'll do a opacity jitter and the flow is off. So some of these will be more visible and some of these will be less visible. All right, let's see how that looks. Um, it looks good, except for the fact that they're still too big. So let's just make our brush a little bit smaller. Don't expect this to look great the first go around, by the way, because it probably won't. So, you know, and then you just like adjust your spacing and then you'll be good. All right, so um, let's hit Command-A, just selects everything, and I'm gonna hit the Delete key, and then we're just gonna 
paint in some stars. We'll do a little bit more here in the Milky Way itself. All right, and if you do it right, it shouldn't look like you just Photoshopped them in, even though you did, because you know Photoshop because you watch Learn a lot, and now you can fool people into thinking you're better at photography than you really are. That's what I use it for anyway. What do you use Photoshop for? <laughs> Let's go ahead and close that out. And uh, there we go. Now we have all that together. I'm gonna shift click in that where we're gonna hit Command G. So let's show you guys the before and the after with this. Um, this is not my image. And I appreciate everyone who entered the contest because it gives us content at Flurn and we can also give you free things in return for it. So let's see the before and after real quick with this image. Let's click on this eyeball. So there's a before and the after. Again, not like the most huge change in the world, but you can see it does enhance the image. And I would say this takes this from like, you know, if on a 10 point scale, this might take it up one point. But one point is enough to make a difference sometimes. Especially in, um, what's a game, Chris, with one point? Horseshoes? Hand grenades? Huh? Hockey. hockey. There we go. If, if you're the Photoshop hockey wizard, <laughs> one point is definitely enough to win it. Or soccer, football. There's a lot of international fans. So, guys, that's it today. Uh, this is a very cool image. Sammy, thanks for entering and winning this contest. You get a tablet as well as a Flurn Pro, and uh, we're going to link all that down below. Guys, we're going to be doing these contests more and more here at Flurn where you guys can have us work on your images and make them even cooler and do some awesome fun stuff like this. So, thanks again. Family week all week long. Peace out. <laughs>